Hello and welcome to 1974. This is a Rhythm King by Maestro and um, this particular piece was made about 1974 or so. It was used on a couple of albums, um, Sly Stone, when he was um, too high on crack cocaine to hire a real drummer, used one of these. Um, this particular unit I bought about two years ago and I bought it because at the time I didn't have a drum set yet. Now I have a drum set. Um, but this came in very handy. Um, I'm playing in a lounge band called Hairplane. And uh, we needed it for that cheesy 1970s feel that it provides. It's got the go-go beat. It's got the cha-cha. The bossa nova is actually pretty useful. We used to this one a lot. Um, you can you can uh, freestyle on it a little bit. It does all kinds of things. Um, let me go ahead and stop the beat for a second. It also has a metronome on it. And of course, the light will tell you where the downbeat is. So when you start the music, you know exactly where it's going to be. So basically, this is um, this is analog. This is an analog drum machine from the 1970s. And uh, Maestro ended up getting bought out. And I'm trying to think who bought them out because somebody good bought them out. And now I can't remember who. It might have been Gibson, or it might have been Rowland. Um, but this particular unit, um, I've had it for about two years. And there goes my fader lube. I used this fader lube to clean the balance knob, because the balance knob was shorting out. Well, it was cutting out, you know how, when they get dirty. Um, it didn't need any replacement parts. This is all original as far as I know, and I've had it open and it looked all original. Um, the only way this could possibly be better if it was the actual unit that Sly Stone used or if it had its vinyl dust cover. If you have the dust cover that goes on top, yours is worth about $800. Without it, it's worth about $300. Um, especially for one that's in perfect working condition. It still has the original cables and the original foot controller, which is for starting and stopping the unit. Um, well, that's not a very good beat. How about the rumba? So this was the kind of thing Hammond organ players would use in the 1970s um, to have drum beats while they played organ. It's good for lounge music. Um, it's good for a whole lot of stuff. And if you want to hear it, it's on a bunch of recordings by Hairplane. Hope you enjoy betting on it. Look, I don't care about all this other shit going on. Program? What are you doing? I asked you to stop. Hi. Come in. I don't know what the fuck this thing is doing. What the fuck are you doing? <laughs> 